Well, I, I think it, in my mind, uh, there becomes the you know the whole idea of uh, you know ownership of of, of content on, on the network and control of of you know what's allowed to flow between countries. And I think that you know keeping the internet as as open as it's been historically is is you know totally essential to uh, ensuring the future to be what we'd like it to be. Uh, I think right now we see already instances of uh, you know, there being more than one internet experience depending where you are geographically and I think uh, uh, you know, we need to work towards removing that if possible. I think that, 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 that first it needs to become a, a, a safe and secure place. Uh, and I realize that that probably is at cross purposes to my, my, my first uh, item, but uh, I think uh, that being able to uh, be sure that you're you know, connected to who you think you're connected to um, and that your, your data is, is not being uh, violated uh, is really critical to, uh, uh, to the Internet, again, being what we want it to be. Uh, definitely, um, the commercialism um, uh, and, uh, and and basically anything. I think anything that that takes away from the ability to people to to uh, to feel that they can freely uh, and equally gain access to the internet. Um, and again, I have some misgivings, and, and I realize that you know, on a practical business sense, this may not be, uh, you know, it may not be good business. But I think, in turn, in a social sense, um, it's uh, essential. Uh, in the town that I live, uh, a local banker actually had one of the first free uh, public access kiosks to the in the country, uh, and I think that kind of concept, uh, free and open access, uh, uh, is what's needed to make it a, 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 a social equalizer. I, I think the, the ability to involve other senses than vision and uh, hearing uh, is really what would revolutionize uh, communication, social, social interaction as we know it over the network. Uh, Someone yesterday spoke about you know the the ability to to smell the avatar next to them and you know they say that 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 smell is the the uh, strongest of uh, of our senses in terms of uh, you know subconscious communication uh, and uh, so touch and smell and 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 the ability to use those other senses over the internet would I think absolutely revolutionize long distance communication as we know it. Um, that's probably my, my biggest vision there. Okay, well, I'm going to focus on uh, really my area of familiarity, which is uh, the, the geospatial side of things. And, and I think there, the idea that uh, the world can be recorded and presented uh, virtually through the internet um, could, you know, will, will revolutionize many things. For one thing, uh, I think the idea of geographic privacy is already, for the most part, gone. Um, it's too easy to see where things are, where, uh, where people are, to track those things, and so that's going to impact everything. Um, but it also uh, uh, provides a multitude of, of really positive opportunities. The idea of being able to, you know, as you're walking down the road, being able to look at your telephone and see what's close to you and see, and, you know, what kind of tree is that? Oh, where is that restaurant? It's right, oh, it's right around the corner there. I see it. Uh, what's that, uh, what's that flock of birds flying over? Um, I think the idea of, of making that information available, you know, virtually everywhere, where being able to share knowledge based upon where you are um, would uh, uh, could impact everyone. One word. 
Uh, just unlimited. <laughs>